Hi everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining about how to create sequence in UiPath Studio. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. To get the notification of my new videos, please click the bell icon. So, let me begin the explanation. So, before I understand what is a sequence, we need to understand what are the different types of projects supported in UiPath Studio. So, UiPath provides four different types of projects. So, first one is sequence, second one is flowcharts, third one is user events and fourth one is state machines. So, in this video, we are concentrating mainly on sequences. Flowchart and sequences are mainly used for simple automation, user events for our front office robots, while state machines are used for complex business processes. So, but we are mainly concentrating on sequences here, right? So, what is a sequence, right? So, sequence Sequence is a group of logical steps. Each step represents an action or piece of work. So, in simple words, we are grouping a task into some steps. So, if I say a sequence, we need to follow some order. That means, we need to do the tasks one after the other. That means, in a linear succession, right? And to explain this sequence in UiPath Studio, I am considering a scenario or a simple project of accepting the name from the user and then display the response. It will accept the name and it will display the response. Okay. So, suppose if you have any doubts, please post your doubts in the comment section. So, in UiPath Studio, first I am going to click on process. Right. So, you can see here. So, when I click, it, uh, click on the blank process, uh, we, I need to give a name first. Here I am giving the name as first sequence. Right? Getting my point? First you need to click on the process, then you have to create the blank project. So here you can see here. So after creating the blank project, you can click on the sequence here. So when you click on the sequence, it will ask for the name for the sequence here. I am giving the, I'm giving the name as a sequence so here you can observe so sequ uh, uh, sequence is uh, created here so in that first i have to ex uh, accept the input from the user right so i am i'm searching for the uh, input dialog box so you can observe here input dialog box is appearing here instead of uh, searching like this you can directly drag and drop also so first what i am doing here means i am uh, giving a title here suppose sorry yeah, you can see here. So, I am giving a title here. I am giving a title for my input dialog as input. And I am entering a label. That means, uh, I should accept the name, right? That's why my label should be, what is your name? You can see here. So, my label is, uh, what is your name? So, input type is uh, text box. So, to accept my input, I have to create a variable here. So, I am creating a variable here. So, I am creating a variable name. Uh, the name of the variable is name only. I am I'm creating the na variable by uh, and I am giving the name. Okay. So, what type of variable I am creating means I am creating a string variable here. So, you can see here. Right. So, you can observe here. I can use that variable for my input dialog because whatever the name we are going to give that name is going to be stored in a variable called name because whatever the name I am given to the variable is name itself that's why so this is input dialog is going to accept the input or name and I am going to create one more thing that is message box so it has to display the name what I have given getting my point so it will accept the input from the user and it's, it needs to display that input as a message it is this is a sequence right so we are observing it will accept the input and it will display my input as a message so see here you can see here in message box also i am giving a name variable name so now i am executing this so you can see here you can see you can see yes see it is uh, asking for the name so i will enter my name now, okay, I am entering the name as Vishesh. Getting my point guys, in this way, we can execute the sequence in UiPath Studio. Now, you can see here, the message is displaying here, 
what is the message the message is vishesh so getting my point so first i created the input now i accepted the input after accepting the input i am displaying as a message so thank you